I want, no, I need the Hydra Archon, and I want to get her to C6. However, if you ever looked into getting a 5 star to C6 in Genshin, you most likely already know that that is, let's just say, difficult. And by difficult, I mean it will take at worst 12 attempts to have that done. 12 attempts will translate to 1080 wishes in the worst case scenario, which is exactly 172,800 Primo Jumps which is a very big number for my small brain to comprehend. But where the numbers are big, the bigger needs the plan to be. And my goal right here is pretty ambitious, but just like the Tour Die fell, I also will conquer Focalore and make her my first C6 Archon. And yes, this video will be filled with horrible France jokes because my humor is trash. You might be now saying, getting a character to C6 is not really the smartest decision. And maybe it's not the smartest decision, but there is one reason why I want to get her to C6, and it's very simple. She's not wearing any socks. I, I think she's not wearing any socks. Anyway, there's quite a few ways to get loads of Primo Jumps though. The first way, and maybe the most obvious one, is the new version itself. It is rumored to bring roughly 18,000 Primo Jumps, and there's more than just one version until the Hydra Archon ends up on a banner. All in all, it should total to hopefully 36,000 Primo Jumps just from doing that, and there's at least two versions between that, assuming I do literally everything. But even if I explored the whole new map, did every event, bought Battle Pass and Vulcans, and did even the Spiral Abyss that to this day I have never fully completed. I will end up still very, very far away from 172,800 Primo Gems. Maybe closer, but it is still quite a far way. And this is simply not enough. So we will need more, but how do we get even more? The biggest issue that we will face is actually very, very obvious. Most of the Primogem income in the game is time-gated. Events and dailies give a huge chunk of the income. Not all of it, but a huge chunk. So we need to find a way to generate Primogems from something that is not time-gated, that we can essentially do in retrospect. Something that already exists and that gives enough Primogems to actually be able to make that many Primogems in the first place. Well, the answer is actually quite simple. Old content exists. And if you're like me, you still have quite a bit of old content you simply didn't finish yet. And even old content still gives a lot of Primo Gems, even for the most mundane things. Let's start off with maybe the easiest thing to do here, and that is clearing out the quest log. I have a quest log with many quests that I still need to do, which on average give me 100 to 200 Primo Gems per quest including the random X-ray that happens because they keep dragging me across the whole map. This will total out at quite a few Primo Gems, maybe another 2000, just from doing that. But that is not all. Exploring the map and doing all the trees and lakes and anything else you can upgrade will give me at least another 20 pulls as well. And most likely a few more thousand Primo Gems as completing Inazuma, including Inconomiya, 2-3 thousand Primo Gems hopefully. And finishing Sumeru should give me another 15,000 Primo Gems. That is actually quite a lot. Since I have Liwa and Monza basically completed, there really is nothing to get there anymore. However, all of this will make me end up at roughly 59,200 Primo Gems, including the Primo Gems and Wishes I already saved up, which amount to 8,540 Primo Gems and 9 pulls or 9,980 Primo Gems in total, totaling out at 69,180 Primo Gems. That is actually quite a lot, it is a very big number actually. And that is enough for 432 pulls or 4.8 Focal Laws. Is this C6 Focal Law guaranteed? No. Mathematically speaking, achieving this goal is not possible. However, luckily, math has never been my strength in the first place, and there's one more trick that I have up my sleeve that will most likely end up with me getting the C6 Hydra Archon and also with me being disinherited. Taking up a loan of a horrendous interest rate to finance my gambling addiction. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, subscribe and maybe even check out my other videos. Also, a big thank you to all my Patreon supporters who allow me to make this kind of video. See you next time.